I believe in the Church of Baseball. I've tried all the major religions and most of the minor ones. I've worshipped Buddha, Allah, Brahma, Vishnu, Siva, trees, mushrooms, and Isidore Duncan. I know things. For instance, there are 108 beads in a Catholic rosary and there are 108 stitches in a baseball. When I learned that, I gave Jesus a chance. But it just didn't work out between us. The Lord laid too much guilt on me. I prefer metaphysics to theology. You see, there's no guilt in baseball, and it's never boring, which makes it like sex. There's never been a ball player slept with me who didn't have the best year of his career. Making love is like hitting a baseball. You just got to relax and concentrate. Besides, I'd never sleep with a player hitting under 250, unless he had a lot of RBIs or was a great glove man up the middle. You see, there's a certain amount of life and wisdom I give these boys. I can expand their minds. Sometimes when I've got a ball player alone, I'll just read Emily Dickinson or Walt Whitman to him. And the guys are so sweet, I almost stay and listen. Of course, the guy will listen to anything if he thinks it's foreplay. I make them feel confident, and they make me feel safe and pretty. Of course, what I give them lasts a lifetime. What they give me lasts 142 games. Sometimes it seems like a bad trade. But bad trades are part of baseball. I mean, who can forget Frank Robinson for Milk Pappas, for God's sake? It's a long season, and you got to trust him. I've tried them all I really have. And the only church that truly feeds the soul day in, day out is the Church of Baseball.